Alan Vanguard is one of the companies that's been known for working on the IED threat, been doing a great job. Some of the technology that's been involved in that is now transferring to our next big threat, which is drones. Bobby Strawbridge, you're involved here as Director of Business Development for Alan Vanguard. Tell us about what we've got here and how this is going to help us fight the drone threat. Well, as you rightly pointed out, the counter drone threat is what we saw in 2004 when the counter IED threat was emerging. And it's been yet to be defined, but we understand the fluid battlefield in which the enemy works in and how they're very adaptive and ingenuitive ideas for using drones as threats. Uh, so in our, from our portfolio of counter IED devices, our electronic countermeasures, we have a wide capability. And what we've done, we've condensed that capability into a smaller box, which is only targeting the areas that the drones are working. So in, in doing so that there, we're going to have a robust, a simplistic and an affordable entry-level unit, which is going to be counter drone. A lot of systems, a lot of, of our, a lot of people are out in the market space doing counter drone activities, and there's a real desire by the end user to have a system which is simplistic and easily deployable, and that's what we're trying to address at the moment. Because that's certainly been one of the big issues: is the is the cost. If you want to protect your your palace, your stadium, or things like that, it's incredibly expensive. So, is this really going to be a, an? Aff you say affordable? Is it affordable? Oh, most most certainly, most certainly. That, that's the key driver for us. The simplicity as well. We're not doing the detection, we're not doing the tracking, we're not doing the classifying. We're doing a nice, robust, hemispherical umbrella protection out to maybe 750 meters plus in a radius. So that's a, from, for the drones, how they're used for payload delivery, for reconnaissance, and for basically harassment in some certain respects. That is more than enough of an umbrella. And it's going to be at the sort of price point where they're going to be able to deploy it on a convoy in prisons, because prison budgets are not huge. Some of the multi-sensor multi, multi uh, systems we have we see are deployed here are over a million dollars, a million pounds as well. So really, it's going to be much more affordable. You're talking about tenths of fractions of that there, what we're looking at. One of the problems has been for areas like that, protecting areas like prisons against drones, cameras, drops, and so on, has been the donut effect, that they can just literally come over the top and drop in. How different is your system to that? Well, that's exactly right. You know, too many people, the physics gets in the way of, of, of the realities of life, sadly. Uh, and if people are using uh, omnidirectional antennas, they come out in a donut shape. So we're partnering with some leading companies here on the antennas to come with a high-gain antenna which will propagate up as a big umbrella. And that's the key. That was one of the key th benefits in the capability. Our brains in the box is one, partnering with the right people who do the antennas is the other part, to give our end users a capability which will meet what their need is. Thank you